Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my fifth day in Uganda. Can you imagine watching the sunset over the lake as you drive? This is such a beautiful view. So I got to experience this when I was going to the airport from Kampala to Entebbe driving just next to Lake Victoria, which is the world's second largest freshwater lake. Usually there's a fence or a bridge, but this was just next to the main road. I just had to park and enjoy this. The principal international airport of Uganda is in Entebbe, which is a town that is about 1 hour 30 minutes from Kampala city, depending on the traffic. So when you find yourself in Uganda and you want to make it to the airport on time, try and leave about 2 hours to your flight time just to beat the traffic. One thing that totally shocked me is that this main bank branch closes at 8 p.m. And the rest close at 6 p.m. And like other banks in Kenya which close at 4 p.m. <laughs> Did you know that in Uganda they still have kings who are very much respected? Up to date. Guys, I'm in the Ugandan parliament. Oh my gosh. Um, apparently, they allow the public to come in. You can see the parliament proceedings, but they won't allow you to go with your phone when, when it is live. So I have come here so that they give me this slip to allow me to enter parliament. I have also been told that when I enter parliament, I am not allowed to vlog because there's an ongoing session, but I can vlog anywhere else. So let me start by showing you around where I am. Right behind me is the, the Office of Public Relations and Communication. And to enter here, I was checked thoroughly. Then I was given this tag that allows me to enter and I had to come here to ask for permission to take pictures and videos because if I don't, if I take pictures and videos without permission, I get arrested. So this is the reception down here and these are media personalities taking video for their channels and the Uganda TV stations and just look at this beautiful art around here. This is the Uganda football team. This is a picture of their president. When you're inside here, they allow you to take pictures, but when you enter parliament, you're not allowed. So inside this parliament, I saw the MPs debating. It was so interesting. I think you should come and visit this place if you can. That's some facts about Kampala, Uganda. Yeah, uh, I'm using an app called Safe Border, which is actually the best app for border borders. It has also been launched in Kenya about two weeks ago. So there are many uh, border border guys in Kampala. There are so many, and many of them usually get into accidents. So I guess that's why they came up with this app, which is called Safe Border Border, which I'm gonna be using the whole day today. Yeah. 
Kampala has so many motorbikes. It is crazy. So the highways have motorbikes and cars at the same time in the same lane. Someone actually mentioned that they have more motorbikes than cars in Kampala. Although there's a thrill that comes with riding a motorbike, when they don't follow the rules, it is very dangerous. Now you see the problem. Yeah. Now they are more than usual to go, and the other one, they are blind, so they also they are been told that there is a hospital ward for border guys because they have so many accidents. Can you imagine a city with so many motorbikes like this and there is no policy so they just go whenever they want to. It's crazy. So behind me is the other entrance of parliament and uh, where I am right now is the National Theatre in Uganda. I want to go in, check it out. Finally inside the National Theatre in Uganda. This place it looks so interesting. I love the art and for some reason it reminds me of the National Theatre in Nairobi. I don't know if it is the size. I don't know if it is the fact that both of them are in town and the structures look almost alike. I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know. So when I was going in, the lady at the reception told me I can go around and behind there's a crafts market. But I did not know that this place is actually like my favorite place in Nairobi. It is exactly like Maasai Market. Only that it is in Uganda and they call it crafts market. Look at this beautiful art here guys. So this is basically like Maasai Market only in Uganda. This place is so dope. It looks so nice. Let me confirm the name. You can see some tourists have come and they are coming to check this place out. They have some really cool stuff you guys. Really interesting stuff. Like look at these bags. Almost look like this. Oh, look at this show. Guys, look at these rappers for rapping when you're... Are you guys feeling the drums in the background? <laughs> like this. I've been needing something like this for rapping my braids and things like that. So I think I'm getting this one. Yeah, this is so nice. And then I tie here in front. I'm getting this and I love red, so I'm totally getting this one. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to the... Where am I going? To the tallest building in Kampala. Yes, let me go show you guys. The tallest building in Uganda, this is it, Mapera. And it is ex exactly opposite the High Court of Uganda, which is exactly is the High Court. At the moment, Mapera is the tallest building in Kampala. But since buildings are coming up every day, let me say it is one of the tallest buildings in Kampala, which is 26 floors as I counted. But then again, I was told it is 24 floors. Now I am being told it is 19. If you're Ugandan, please leave a comment <laughs> and let me know. This area is called Freedom Square, where guys come, chill, you know, relax, think about life. <laughs> So yeah, people snatch phones. Of course they do. I finally made my way to downtown in Kampala. And uh, this is a bus station where all my tattoos look alike. As you can see, they are all white with blue stripes. This is so interesting. And uh, something to note is that they refer to both my tattoos and taxis as taxi. So when you say my tattoo there, they, they won't get what you're talking about. Did you know that Ugandans speak more English and less Kiswahili, if any? Back in my hotel after a long day, I have bought this. Um, caramel popcorn. You know I had to get where they sell caramel popcorn in Uganda. You know I had to. <laughs> so yeah. So now I'm finally back. I'm going to just relax, chill, maybe take a shower, then sleep. Yeah. That's probably it. 
Did I show you my outfit of the day? This is my outfit of the day. This white top, this trouser, and these shoes. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, just show me some love. Give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.